Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a clip from one of the interviews I did with Bruce Kulick for my documentary, What is Classic Rock? If you want to see the full interview or the documentary, What is Classic Rock? They are both linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more. You know, I used to be like, so like, why do I want to record on a garage band program? And now I realize, you know, wow, I can make that thing sound pretty good. This is incredible. It's incredible. And the same thing that I'm going to, I can, I can, uh, you know, surf the internet with and check my emails and, and, and book a flight or get a boarding pass from that, that I can actually also record something quite respectable. That's remarkable electronically and just technology speaking. Mm -hmm. Remarkable that it, that can be done. It doesn't make what people are able to do better. It just now is a whole nother world we live in with all these things. Who would ever think, you know, I grew up in New York and, you know, you either struggle with the subway, you, you not wise, own a car, or you take a taxi where you got to go. Now we have something called Uber, <laughs> where on your phone, you're, they know where you are and boom, they're there in like usually five minutes to come get you. And you don't even have to do anything giving them anything because your credit card's stored on the, you get what I mean? And I can go to Amazon now and I can't get that ginger ale I really like, that brand, at my local store anymore. They don't carry it. And then the next day, there it is in my home. It's delivered to me by just clicking a couple of, you know, prompts on the phone. All that's remarkable. And, and, and all that, in the same way that our buying habits and our flying habits of, of being a, you know, there's something good about being a travel agent when you need need a travel agent. There is a value to it. But you know you can book your flight to wherever you want in the world yourself, right from the same phone that you're going to call your you know, wife or girlfriend or mother on. It's nuts. And you can also record a really good demo or record what I'm saying right now on your smartphone. So all that's changed. There it is. <laughs> so all of it's changed. And um, it's made... In some ways, the machine that I was describing earlier of how a label created, took a talent and then, you know, recorded it, paid for it, marketed it, manufactured it, distributed it, maybe did some really crazy, nasty things to get it on the radio, but they did all that. Okay. And they owned you to do that. But that process was the only way it happened and the only way it could happen. Now you remove that and everybody can create a song, can make a video, can deliver it to the World Wide Web, right? Meaning the internet. And then anyone anywhere in the world, if they want to, and they're turned on to it or through one of the social media sites, it starts to get traction. Then suddenly, without any of those things I just mentioned that the labels did to make you a star, and potentially, you're a star.